Hey YouTubers, it's Mark from True Seeker, and I'm in Soul 707, and I found a really cool thumbnail. Let's take a look. All right. Now I uh, enlarged it a little. Played around with the contrast and brightness, not too much. Took some of the saturation uh, color out, dropped the saturation a little, and uh, it looks like I'm looking at a Star Wars movie set. I would like uh, NASA to explain this to me. Now, I mean, this this thumbnail before I enlarged it is about the size of a matchbook cover. So, granted, they're expecting nobody to even uh, look at these things. Almost every thumbnail that I go through, and. Uh, you know, I enhance. There's something that's strange in it. We'll just leave it at that. But uh, this one takes the cake. I mean, look at these structures. You're not doing this with pixelation. I mean, look at look at this. And to me, it resembles an alien head. That's one eye. That's the other eye. See how the head is exaggerated on top? Comes down, there's a base. See this platform that it's on? I mean, look at this stuff that's here. I mean, this is not... I will repeat, this is not just pixelation. So I can take my pictures from the outdoors or when I go to the beach, Long Beach Island and uh, Seaside Heights and Point Pleasant, Lavalette. <laughs> they look nothing like this. These look like the scale. I mean, I th I think we're really being thrown off on the scale. I mean, I think that you could, like, maybe walk into here, you know, that these are just gigantic monuments and uh, mausoleums, burial sites, and this is the way they honored the dead. You know, is this, you know their equivalent to Egypt. I just, you know, I don't know. What I do know is that this stuff is strange. I mean, these are man-made structures as far as I'm concerned. You want a smoking gun. I mean, a couple of my past videos, the one that I just redid, the grave marker video, I mean, the consensus is that we're looking at a grave marker. This I'm talking about my last, uh, I think it was my last uh, one or two uploads. Um, I re revisited um, an anomaly that I did, and it's a grave marker. And the consensus is, from most of my viewers, is that it shows a man and a lady on a gravestone holding a baby and then there's some type of carved face to the left of it with a goatee coming down with an open mouth and slanted eyes it looks um, there's a name for that type of statue um, it's Asian or Japanese in their cultures I'm gonna post I'm gonna do another little uh, add-on to that video with uh, the statue that I found from China and Asia and Japan. There's a name for that type of statue and it's weird because it really resembles what's next to the grave marker in that video that I did. It was just a couple days ago. If you you know you go back and look, you're a subscriber you'll see. It was just uh, like a couple days ago it's called the grave marker on Mars. Wow look at these structures. I mean this looks like a, a totally circular with an opening 
some of this got uh, blurred back here. I mean, how can nature make this stuff? How can uh, dust devils uh, rain? I mean, look at the structure in this thing. It comes down. It's got one eye. There's another eye. I assume it's supposed to resemble some type of head. I could be wrong. <laughs> structure in this video in this image I mean look at these they almost look like walkways or doorways or this looks to be like some type of bigger you know rectangular structure as always I'll give you the link uh, what you'll need to do is enlarge it blow it up the best you can uh, bring the contrast up just a little uh, the brightness down just a little bit and then take some saturation uh, take you know go to your saturation and take some of the color out and you should be pretty close all right guys it's uh, soul 707 I give you the link in the description and uh, you know I thank you for all your support I just broke over 700,000 views which uh, totally blows me away um, it's been, I think, less than six months I've been doing this, I think, uh, on YouTube for about four, four to five months. Um, I've been doing this kind of research probably for over 20 years, maybe even longer. I mean, as a child, I was, you know, digging through books at the library with magnifying glasses. So, uh, you know, just trying to see, you know, what I could find. That was being hidden, you know, I was always searching. But, uh, alright guys, I appreciate everything. I got a couple things that I'm working on. I've just been a little busy, but I'm going to get them out to you. And as always, I try to give you my best. Two Seekers out.